Uh, your ports are blockaded. Fine. Hey! Ugh, fuck. Sorry, you've got a really hard username. Hi! Se- Say- Skrez? Saskrez? Saskrez. I gotta remember that. Hey! Welcome to Smashcast. Hitbox rebranded. We just finished our war. We got Fiesland from Munster. We're Holland. We're trying to form the Netherlands, but we're just the province of Holland. We also have Zeeland and Friesland. Uh, we're gonna need to do a little bit of conquering, do a little bit of annexing and whatnot. Um, right now, I kind of just want these two dudes, these two bad dudes with attitudes, to uh, become my vassals. So I gotta make them really friendly. So let's, oh god, it doesn't like right-clicking right for diplomacy menu. I'm just gonna do that. Doesn't like it on small counties. Um, gotta improve relation with you. Talk about a change overnight? Yeah, it literally was a change overnight. Now mind you, they've been planning this for months. But, you know, last night is when the change happened. So that's why it looks different. It's the same website, though, which is why you'll notice, like, a lot of it is really the same at its core. Like, for instance, it says I've been live for, like, 50 hours. That's the same glitch a Hitbox had, because it's Hitbox servers. Which luckily means that the stream quality is really high, because it's Hitbox servers. And the staff's all the same, so you're still gonna get visits from uh, Savvy and Dubs all the time. Austria started influence the nation of Byzantium. Byzantium's opinion of Austria has changed for 10 years until the war breaks out. Byzantium's basically dead at this point, though, isn't it? Yeah, Byzantium is barely existent. It's got a little bit of Greece and a little bit of Turkey. Ouch. Yeah, I know as Byzantium, if you're a total badass, you can actually reform the Roman Empire, which is a really fun what-if history scenario. But right now, we're representing all of our Dutch viewers. Oh, there's a fight going up there between the English and the French, and it looks like the French are losing it. Fuck. Come on, France. It seems like the main battlefield right now is my country, and I'm not thrilled about that. Uh, you can build in provinces. I can build a castle in Zealand. Do I want to? That's expensive. I think I want to hang on to that cash. Let's hang on to that. All right. Um, oh, we can go back home now. Sweet. They're finally out of uh, my province. There, the army is back home. Hey, countries, get off my land. Yeah, my country is not your battlefield, England and France. Go fight in England or in France. Get out of Holland. Ugh. It's like, uh, it's like, uh, uh, what's it called? Um, Hearts of Iron 4 with Aldrahill all over again. Us fighting forever in, uh, Netherlands and, uh, Burgundy. Just fighting our way through that whole section. Oh, and Luxembourg. Luxembourg held off in that war shockingly long for such a small country. You form the Roman Empire as any Christian country. It's just challenging to do this as the Byzantines. Yeah, I know there's an achievement for doing it as the Byzantine Empire, which is super cool to me. Uh, looks like it's about halfway done coring Friesland, which is our new territory that we completely legitimately conquered. I say as I literally hit the uh, fabricate claim button. Okay, we're actually making money again. Did our core limit go up? Our, our army force limit? No. Uh, chat, remind me, how do I get an army force limit? Is it just military technology? Because we're getting pretty close to getting another military technology. Just because, you know, time's passing, so it's getting cheaper and we're accumulating more. Oh, and neighbor bonus, because we're actually next to Austria now. Austria is pretty advanced. Okay, yeah, we can recall the diplomat from Austria now. Because, uh, we can't raise our, uh, relations with them anymore just through that regular way. We can do a royal marriage, though. That'll help it even more. So we're gonna do that next. 
Phil just barely agreed to it. Alright, improvement uh, is up. We also got our prestige and our diplomatic power for completing the quest. Prestige of 50 or above, that's just not happening right now. We're at negative one and we're losing about one a year. We could improve our papal relations pretty easily. Create a proper fleet. What's our naval force limit? Whew, that's not happening. Shit's expensive. Uh, hey chat, would anyone recommend that I start building more of a fleet? Because as the Dutch, we do have, if we go to ideas, as the Dutch, we do have a higher amount of sailors and our naval force limit is up by a lot. So we could actually crew a much better navy than most of these small northern countries. Um, I just don't know if we have the finances to really back that up and how much it would help us. We could use it to secure trade in the North Sea, or rather in the English Channel, which is our main trade value thing here. Um, how much of a... Yeah, we got a 19% share, whereas England is dominating with a 42%. Should we just try and dominate trade in the English Channel? Because right now I'm worried about how I'm still at war with England, and they have quite a big fleet. So my fleet doesn't stand a chance against theirs. I'd have to just keep them docked for the rest of the war. So maybe now is not the best time to build my fleet back up. I think that I'll solidify papal relations. Getting good with the Christians. Uh, where are my diplomats right now? One's befriending Utrecht. And the other one is working on the royal marriage. Okay. Well, there's the papal state. I'd like to improve relations with them. Alright, we're working on that now. How's that war going? Uh, our war score is high, so yeah, it's going heavily in the French favor. Participation score is 100%. <laughs> our participation score is 7%. And it was unwilling participation if they showed up in our country. Uh... Wow, we- our combined army doubles theirs. Ouch. No one's got siege equipment, which is normal for this age. Siege equipment's rare and shitty in this age, as far as I'm aware. Decisive victory in the English-French Unification War. Alright. Due to our invaluable assistance in their war, France owes us ten favors. Yeah, we were invaluable. We really helped. If anything, they just had to run out of their way to come save us. <laughs> really, we didn't help France at all. In fact, they paid us a lot of money during that war, too. Uh, accepted peace uh, with their former enemies, England. On the following terms, England will concede a bunch of provinces uh, to France. England will renounce their claims on another one. This piece will cost France a bunch of points. Uh, Re Rest Restoration Union Casas Belli uh, suffers some aggressive expansion relation penalty, but not a ton considering they got quite a bit of land. Um, bunch of prestige between France's allies. Did I get some of that? I think I got like one. Holland gains a little bit. Oh, we gained two prestige. <laughs> really, we shouldn't have gotten any. And power protection from France goes, from France goes up. Okay, well, France just got most of its land back in the north. It's still missing little chunks here from England, but for the most part, France just restored a lot of its country. So I'm actually not at war now, so I need to declare a rival. They didn't take the one province that started the fucking war? Oh, was it this one? I don't know which one it was. I would assume it's one of the coastal ones. Your name is Yellow, and Smith Mesh cast Yellow Curse. Actually, I can read the yellow names just fine because I have a Chrome plugin that makes it so the background is dark gray, so I can read just fine. Yeah, I got rewarded for doing nothing. I didn't participate in that war at all. All right, who do we want to declare as a rival? Probably Munster, because they can go fuck themselves. Right? Their army's weaker than ours, although all these people have a weaker army than ours. I mean, I could just, like, Utrecht. 
but eh. Monster. Fuck you, monster. Really enjoying the stream? I'm happy you like it, Roki. I'm enjoying myself, too. I'm picking the game back up faster than I thought I would. Ironically, Elder Hill's also playing EU4. Now that's not irony. That's a happy coincidence. Or I guess an unhappy coincidence? Is this game like CK2? I mean, it's the same company. And it looks a little bit similar, but instead of simulating controlling a dynasty, uh, it is simulating controlling the country. It's a more typical grand strategy. Uh, very fun. I, I like both games a lot, but they have different appeals to them. Um, it is safe to say if you like one, you probably like the other, though. Uh, yeah, I'll declare Monster my rival. Fuck you, Monster. You took that province I was trying to illegitimately take, and then I had to take it from you? You're my rival now, Monster. Uh, so if you don't know, Monster is these three provinces right here. And I have a bigger army than them. Uh, free advisor slot. Yeah, how much money are we making, though? Not really much. Uh, uh, trade. Where's trade? There it is. Okay, about half my income comes from trade. Promote mercantilism. By spending- oh, I don't think I want to do that. Because as good as that is, I'm real close to getting my diplomatic technology up, and that'll get us the marketplace. And increase our trade range. And I really want marketplaces because it increases our local trade power and would probably really help our income considering, I mean, we're making the Netherlands. We're a trade country. We are a naval trade country. We probably want markets. Seems like a, don't know why we wouldn't have a market in fucking Holland in 19, or sorry, 14. <coughs> Let me restart. I don't know why Holland wouldn't have a marketplace in 14. 50, but okay, we'll suspend our disbelief a little bit, say that we never built a market, that the people of Holland have never had a center of trade until 1450. Madraya hates the Munster TV show confirmed. Is there a TV show called that? I didn't even know. I'm being blinded by the whiteness. Hey! Hey! If I took my shirt off, you'd be dead right now. <laughs> but I know you're referring to the website, yeah. There's, um, there's a, uh, oh, sweet, Yoavner linked it. Thank you, Yoavner. And he meant to say dark theme, but he said dark theme. <laughs> uh, I can see why Yoavner von Welf is the very low talent heir. Can't spell dark. Suck it. Uh, disinherent Yo Avner. For a more capable heir. Ooh, that's a good way to lose fans. <laughs> Take a hit of 50 prestige? Jesus, that's kind of steep, isn't it? How's Chud doing? Uh, Chud is all the way over. Ooh. So there's Tevir. So Chud would be... Yeah, Chud's in Bella Ozero. So Chud is here, but it wouldn't, it, it's not called Chud in this because it's so, this is so zoomed out. It would just break it into one huge province of Bella Ozero. All right. Okay, so progress. We're making progress, everybody. So let's just remind ourselves of our goal here. We want to form the Dutch nation. This requires an administrative technology level of at least 10, so we really need to get up. Ours is like three. Um, so we might want to put our national focus on that, actually. We need core provinces in uh, Friesland, which we're working on. We need to get both of these places, and we need this. And that's owned directly by Austria right now. Austria being the third most powerful country on Earth. So, uh, yeah, that might be difficult. That might be really difficult. You can't use your own emoticon? Oh, did, um... I don't know if that's been removed or if it's still being re-implemented. Sorry, I'm not sure. Alright. Alright, can we get... 
Yeah, manage attitude friendly. I want uh, Austria to know that we're friendly towards them. I'm friendly towards Austria, and I'm friendly towards... Uh... Oh, we're already allies, so I can't do that. Okay. I just want France and Austria to both know that uh, Holland's got their back. Not that they probably care. I'm not the most powerful country in the world yet, but I'm going to have a badass navy at some point. I'm sure if they go to war with England, they're going to want that uh, Dutch navy on their side. Uh, uh, if America won't do crap but waste time, I, I'm confused as to what that's, uh, if American, they don't do, won't do crap but waste time. I, I don't know what that's in reference to. How dare you, uh, care how I spell dark. I'm two and Dutch. <laughs> um, all right. I was just declared war on their enemy. Who? Who are these guys? They cite diplomatic insult. I don't even know who these guys are. Oh, they have a shitload of military. It's probably because they're part of the um, Holy Roman Empire. I'm pretty sure if you're part of the Holy Roman Empire, you automatically have military access through the rest of it. You'll never be noticed, Dante. Uh, oh, these guys are going to get killed. I'll put it this way. The country that's getting declared on is so small, I can't tell which one it is. I think it's this green one. Oh shit, they're getting annihilated. Yeah, they don't stand a fucking chance against Austria. <laughs> um, typical response to different kinds of problems. Uh, what is this? Knowledge is power or ignorance is bliss? Uh, so national unrest goes up. Ew. Or I lose prestige. I'd rather national unrest. I don't want to sit the whole game at zero prestige, or below that. Hmm. All right. Okay, um, we need to set goals for ourselves. Right now, the biggest thing that's going to happen is we're very, very close to finishing a few techs. I think what I want to do is as soon as I hit four on this, I'm going to switch my national focus or set my national focus to administrative and start really focusing on trying to get that up. So we're going to unlock temples, which increases our local tax modifier, which also sounds good because money is kind of important. We're a trade nation. I want to get really rich. Because we can, again, we potentially could have a very terrifying navy, and I'd like that. I'd like to dominate trade. In fact, we need a fleet. We should get a fleet and start trying to dominate trade here in the English Channel. Demand unlawful territory. The Emperor of, Aust of Austria demands that we return the Provident province of Friesland. I've almost got a core on it, dude. Uh, denying the request will seriously impact our relations with the Holy Roman Empire. Yikes. They'll get a Cassius Belli against me. Oh, oh. Every member will not like us. This is pretty severe. Decline. I do have France on my side. I'm declining. <sighs> they can't do anything? Fuck them. Because we got France? I mean, France did take a lot of land just there, so... Uh, they d I did give them a Cassius Belli, but we're about to core this place. All right. Hmm. I gotta keep an eye out. Oh yeah, sorry, did anyone ever answer how I get my army force limit up? Because I don't think I ever saw. They cancelled our military access. <clears throat> That's to be expected. Uh, we still do have royal ties, though. They still have a high opinion of us, actually. It's a good thing that we made friends, because uh, they could have just outright declared war if they didn't like us so much. 
just like every other member of the HRE that conquers territory. Countries wish to hire from us. Oh, these dudes are getting just murdered. No, I'm not gonna risk losing my troops for the piddly amount of cash they probably have. I may be biased because I'm 75% France, but side with French pl France, please. Yeah, don't worry, we already sided with France. Um, France just won a reclamation war against England and we sided with France. Because we have an alliance with France right now, it's basically what's keeping us safe, is France is, one of the, is the strongest country in Western Europe right now, and we have a military alliance. It's why tiny Holland is okay, we haven't even formed the Netherlands yet. Ooh, Austria has warned us not to go to war with any countries. Okay. Well, it's a good thing that we're taking these two provinces through annexation of vassals. It's slow, but it's peaceful. We're so close to getting our tech up. Okay, so vassalization. Dutch economy base to Utrechtian. It, hmm, that's really low. I'm confused. Are they saying that their economic base is significantly better than ours? Because their their tech level is the same. Is their is their county more developed? Seven seven three. Ours is eight eight five. Ours is more developed. Huh. Yeah, France is debatably like one of the best countries in this game. It, like, it's like France and Ottoman Empire are both really, really good. They just start in great positions, they have great armies, they're just in amazing positions to mass expand if they want to. Let's end to be kills uh Germany early. Well, Germany doesn't really exist right now. There isn't even Prussia yet. Yeah, France is the most powerful country in the game. Big blue blob, only sometimes second to Ottoman. Yeah, because the Ottomans are in a great spot where they can expand in any direction really safely from the beginning. So they got the they got the snowball effect of you know snowball rolling down the hill, getting bigger. Whereas um, France just starts off really powerful and in a very well developed part of the world. Uh, yeah, so do they consider us to be technologically behind them or something? Whoa, 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 what's, what's going on? Province of Friesland is now considered to be- Yeah! Yay! We, we finished coring Friesland, so we now have a core on all of our provinces. So we have a legitimate claim to Friesland, so we don't need to worry so much about that. You can make states. Ooh, what's this? Click to make it a state. Realm divided into several territories, where all provinces owned in an area make up one territory. A territory can be made into a state of a nation, which is an integral part of the realm. This will cost maintenance depending on the distance from the capital, while greatly reducing its minimum uh, autonomy drastically. The maximum number of states can be increased by increasing government rank. Uh, okay. I'm not entirely sure what that does, it, it, um, but reducing the minimum autonomy dramatically. Does this mean that I have more control over it? I don't understand. What would be the purpose of making that a state? Yoander says the states are hashtag good. So, what, what's states all about? Give me a... Do you get the foam up now? Uh, not yet. You can see it in the background. Actually, the yellow stuff is the foam. The sound foam. Uh, I haven't had a good chance yet. We can build now. However, we are super close. Okay, here we go. We can invest in new technology. Let's do it. Trade efficiency up, yearly corruption down for the next three years. Boom. Diplomatic technology advance. Trade range is increased by 10. We can now build marketplaces. Now that we've done that, I'm going to switch my national focus to, um, to administrative. So let me catch up on the chat a little bit here. Let's see if you haven't said the thing yet. No one ever missed you, Kaipon. 
We all know you never left. You were sitting there this whole time, just pretending you were gone. I know your game. It means that you get more money. They have less autonomy, have a special core that takes a while to disappear, and they're generally good. Okay. So should I make that a state right now, or is that something to worry about later? Is is the yellow really hard to see on the on like the white background, everybody? Because on uh, if you go to Smashcast, but you also get the Chrome uh, extension of Smashcast Plus, then it's a dark background like on Hitbox. Make it a state, can do. Uh, also, you have nerd. Um, how do I get? Uh, how do I get Army Force Summit up? And should I make my national focus administrative? Something you do along the game? Okay. The cap expands over time. Okay. Uh, is it territory? Make it a state. State will cost us nothing in maintenance every month while increasing our income. <laughs> okay. Why not? Are these all states? Should I make all of them states? Okay. That's a state. Sweet. Is but but doesn't that already isn't that already a core? Where's the thing for that? Isn't Friesland already a core? Admin focus is nice when conquering a lot. Don't know a lot about the focuses. Okay. Playing Asago Academy? Nice. Um, I already cored this. What's going on? You haven't heard, do you know what's going on? I'm gonna, I'm gonna unpause a little bit. Yeah, lacks cores, what the hell? Did I lose the core for becoming a state? Is that how that works? Should I have made it a state first? Gonna go get some tea? Ah, oh, fuck, now I want tea. This coffee's good, but I like tea more. I just drink coffee for the health benefits. You get more force limit through more provinces, specific buildings, and having a high military development. Now, yeah, well, unfortunately, Friesland didn't increase my limit. That'd be nice. Legend? No, I'm sure there's probably a reason why I lost my core. There's gotta be some legit reason. After making provinces and states, you need to make them a, uh, a state core. Oh! Okay. Okay, so for future reference, should I have made it- Oh, did it just instantly core? Yes, that instantly cored it. Okay. So for future reference, should I core it before or after making a state, or does it matter? The core is instant and doesn't go away after the province is conquered. Nice. Okay. You see Denmark flag. Where's Norway? Norway is where it always is. Right up there. So what's Norway doing in the game right now? It's improving relations with Muscovy. So it's trying to befriend uh, what will become Russia. Unless history changes. It's a junior partner under Denmark. Okay, so it's basically a vassal of Denmark. Uh, and it has an independence Cassius Belli on Denmark. Yeah, it makes sense. They can declare independence war on Denmark. Okay, so Norway, Sweden, and Denmark are a un are a military union under the under the control of Denmark. So Denmark's the leader of a military union between Denmark, Norway, and Sweden right now. Um Norway and Sweden might declare independence at some point. Good to know. Yeah, Scandinavia is Denmark's bitch right now. Good to know. Huh, maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll fight Denmark at some point. Back up the independence movement. Um, so if I check my ledger real quick, rivals, total. Okay, so we're way stronger than Munster right now. Out of curiosity, if I were to just declare war on them to humiliate them, what would I get by humiliating Munster? Would I just get power projection? Because I know power projection is actually really nice. Basically just flexing my might show the world that we aren't to be fucked with. 
because I wouldn't mind doing that, actually. Because we're really small, and we got a lot of big, scary countries near us, and I wouldn't mind just reminding the world why you don't fuck with me. Improved relations. Papal say improved relations. Okay. You tricked. I really want to vassal you. Dutch economic base compared to... Yeah, but, like, what about my economic base is so much worse than theirs? Okay, I think it's safe to say we should drop some cash on getting a marketplace in our capital. Okay, we're actually making no money in uh, Friesland. Why? Culture Dutch, religion Catholic. Okay, well, they get along with us on that front. I wonder if I should just be making marketplaces in all my provinces. Humiliating gives a lot of power projection and prestige. It's nice. However, remember that you've been warned by- uh, You're right, I was warned by Austria not to declare any wars. Is Munster part of the Holy Roman Empire? I don't think it is. Yeah, it doesn't look like Munster is part of the Holy Roman Empire. Oh, no, maybe it is. How do I check who's part of the Holy Roman Empire? Hmm. They've got military access through Austria, so they might. When constructing buildings, enter the building tab in construction map mode. Um... All right, where's construction on this? Why is this not alphabetical? Buildings, maybe? Probably buildings. Yeah, let's do buildings. Okay. Uh, buildings mode. This doesn't tell me anything. Okay. <laughs> Uh, let's, let's go to this one, then. Oh, hey! Okay, that's what he was telling me to do, is it tells me how much more I would get. Okay. Well, hey, that's actually pretty useful. Include subjects? No, I don't have any. That's right. Uh, these are, um... There are some very lucrative and specific provinces you get bonuses, where you get bonuses to trade. These are provinces you need to put your marketplace at. Isn't it each province has at least one local trade good? What is my local trade good for my capital? Uh, it's fish. Okay. What about down here? Salt. Friesland? Fish. Okay. I probably want diversity of trade goods. What do they trade? Cloth. And you trade grain. Okay. Um, check, confirm or deny, is Retro still in the, uh, is Retro still watching? Uh, okay, trade. I think this is worth building in Zealand. It's 90 gold up front, but you know, it's gonna pay off over time. So, I'm gonna do that. So, we're low on cash again, but this is going to be more cash in the long run. The trade good is a different thing. Oh, okay. I'm guessing we can get some stuff later that increases the production of the goods. Retro is still here? Sweet. Retro. How goes the wrestling game? For anyone who doesn't know, the wrestling game, it's like a text-based wrestling game. It's free. It's just in browser. It's fun. Uh, Retro is my tag partner. How we doing? Did we capture the tag titles for level 4 yet? Because I know you hit level 4 during this stream, so you brought us up a tag level. Uh, so we had to relinquish our tag titles for level 3. I haven't been able to beat Paul yet, who's our master for level 3, because he's got this fucking signature move that just kicks my ass. I figured out why Retro is doing so much better than me too, and it's because my stamina is really low until I get advanced techniques, it's just part of my build. And stamina is just killer early on, having a low stamina, so that's mostly why I'm shitting the bed. Once we hit level 6, I think it is, 
um, I'm going to start doing a lot better because that's what my build picks up. All right, we've discovered an agent. We've been informed uh, that a diplomat from Munster is building a spy network. Reason to by 75. Okay, so they had an enormous spy network on this. Munster hates our fucking guts. Uh, which, you know what? It doesn't surprise me. Have we almost befriended these motherfuckers in the Papal States yet? We need to get to 100 to solidify our Papal relations, I believe. Um, we are not even close to vassalizing these dudes. Does anybody know this whole uh, Dutch economy base compared to Utrechtian? If not, Google that shit for me. See if anybody knows what's up with that. Because, like, what about my economic base is depressing them? Because my economic base, so far as I can tell, I'm making a lot more money than they are. Alright, the building is still going. We have all the cores set up and everything. I think we're doing pretty good. Uh, in 1660, it was called Denmark-Norway. Interesting, I didn't know about that. I love history. But you're right, discovered an Asian. That means you need to conquer all of Asia. You're right, I should conquer Asia. Holland and its three states is ready to conquer Asia. The Ming Dynasty doesn't stand a chance against the might of my 11,000 troops. I don't think we have guns yet. We're using Latin medieval infantry. I'm fairly sure we don't have guns. The basic soldiers of Western European armies. They are trained to be peasant levies with little or no training and very poor equipment. However, when deployed en masse, they could be devastating. Yeah, I'm fairly sure we do not have guns yet. Our military technology is not very good. We do not have guns. I don't think I want to fight the Chinese. I think that they have guns. Oh, here we go. Uh, we'll call our diplomat from Utrecht. Because it's not getting any higher. New technology. Military tech. Land morale. Military tactics. Hell yeah. Sweet. Throughout the Middle Ages, cavalry's dominance was being challenged by disciplined pikemen. In battles such as Bannockburn... Or the Golden Spurs, cavalry was defeated by pikes. A combination of improving training and discipline uh, and the addition of swordsmen to provide close combat support has raised the formation to its peak of efficiency. And now I'm going to read that all again in my goblin voice. Yeah, throughout the Middle Ages, cavalry's dominance was being challenged by disciplined pikemen. In battles such as Bannockburn or the Golden Spurs, cavalry was defeated by pikes. A combination of, Im of improved training and discipline and the addition of swordsmen to provide close combat support has raised the formation to its peak of efficiency. Yeah. <laughs> and unsub. Stop. You're making me die. <laughs> Uh, I love my streams. <laughs> think I might have a bias. Best goblin voice, 10 out of 10, take all my money. Everybody donate. Everybody must donate and I won't see your donations because stream tip isn't working right now. Uh, let me just, let me just check their website again, see if they've updated yet. Nope. <laughs> cool. Hope they update soon. Miss being able to see when people donate to me. Oh, uh, I'm happy Yo Avner is here. Because I would not be functioning without him right now. That is not Gremony voice, that is Goblin voice. Get it right? That, that, that's racist. You can't tell the difference between a Gremlin and a Goblin? You disappointed me. I thought you were more racially sensitive than that. With Gremony's voice, I have a tinge of overdramatic distressed clown. I do not have that, good sir. And my goblin voice. The goblin is a villain. Gramini's just scared. <laughs> Alright, build a spy network in Munster, because they can go fuck themselves. I hate those sons of bitches. We're building a spy network. What is a gremlin? Uh, a gremlin is like my Gramini voice. A goblin is like my goblin voice. That's the best description I could possibly give. <laughs> what a shitty description. 
I had love an entire two hour history channel show uh, with a voice to buy my goblin voice. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure that would go over great. Okay, so the marketplace in Holland just finished. And the one in Zealand is about to finish. Yep, there we go. They both finished. And technology temples! Housing the machinery of government is as important as the machinery itself, and one should never forget the importance of religion when doing so. Can now build church. Because, you know, there wasn't a single motherfucking church in all of Holland until... What year? What year? 1452. Next is an I my first idea group. Can't wait to get national ideas to five. In fact, I'm putting my focus on that. Focus is going on, uh, on administrative so we can get to that faster. Uh, okay. So our income is actually... That's actually brought our income up a lot. I'm wondering if maybe we should hire an advisor. Maybe we should hire an advisor just to increase our administ administrative skills. We can get yearly prestige up by one. Ooh. We get national tax modifier. That's tempting. Ooh, that's tempting. Yo, Avner, what, what are you thinking on that one? I'm thinking national tax modifier up 10%. Hire that dude. He only costs a buck a month. We'd still be quite heavily in the positives. We'd get a little bit of our money back on that national tax modifier. And the real goal is that we'd be getting administrative skill out of it. I feel like that might be worth it. Strength in government? Need more military strength. Should we maybe lower our army maintenance? Hmm. Maybe we should lower army maintenance, save a little bit of cash. He's good? I was thinking that too. Uh... Hmm. Goods produced is down a little bit. Oh, war exhaustion. Yeah, that's fine. We're, we're almost out of that. Hmm. I'm just kind of tabbing through to remind myself of everything going on. Separatists, independence of Friesland? Uh, nope. How about I go to this? I go to buildings. I cannot afford to build a church right now. And I wouldn't really get any serious cash from churches right now. Okay, so we don't need any churches at the moment. It wouldn't really help as much. Uh, all these guys, um, who give money tend to not cover their own costs, but he's good. Yeah, that's what I was feeling, too, is I'm sure 10% wouldn't cover his own cost, but it would offset the cost a little, and it would be getting me administrative skill, which I need. So we'll hire him. There we go. So we have our first, uh, advisor. Transfer trade power from France. France would like us to transfer 15% of our trade power to all shared trade nodes to them. Alright, look, you're asking me for- Hey, little four tank champs! Thanks, Retro! Um, yeah, so... Look, they're- they're asking me to give up a good share of my- my cash here. Trades where I'm making half my money. 15% of our trade power? How much is that? Give me the English channel. We got 24% at this node, so we're second best. <laughs> we're actually pretty close to England. Yeah, oh, I'm tempted to say fuck off France for that one. Now, is it is it 15% of our 24%? Like a really, really low percentage? Or are they just taking the straight up the number 15 out of our 24? Because if so, that cripples our trade income. France is the most powerful country in the world right now. I think we've kind of got to accept this. Who are we to say no? I'm going to say yes. Let's see this number change. Uh, 
That number doesn't seem to have changed. My income has gone down. Ouch. Okay. We transferred 15% of our 24%, so we lost 3%. Not horrible. That's not horrible. Can you read that request again, please? Oh, sorry. Um, France was asking for 15 for me to transfer 15% of my trade uh, power towards them. So very confused as to how, how to play the wrestling game. You get a feel for it. Um, if, you can read some guides on their forms, which help if you want to. But all you need to know is always be training statistics. And the statistics you want to get are based around your ideal move set if you want to make a really advanced bill. What I recommend, just play the game, wing it, have fun. And if you end up really liking it, then when your character is old enough, retire them. You'll get a bonus to your next character you make. And that one you go hardcore on. Fuck the French. Yeah, I'm a little bit pissed about that, but it'll make them like us more because we agreed to it. Theater mode gets rid of the white background. Yeah, but there's also Chrome extension you can do to get rid of the white background if you'd like to. Um. Okay, how many diplomats? What are our diplomats doing again? We have one doing, yeah, uh, spy network here. Uh... Justify trade conflict. Uh, who are our rivals? I believe our only rival right now is... Yeah, is Munster. Do I want to add another rival? Not really, because the only candidates are dudes that I have an alliance with. Uh, okay. Couldn't find the Chrome extension. Could someone uh, link it for Kaipon? I think Yo Avner might have the link just in another tab for people because he's been linking it a bunch. Thanks, Yo Avner. Um, hmm. So this is everybody in the Holy Roman Empire. <sighs> the, oh, that's a lot of negative numbers. Um... All right, Utrecht, um, yeah, I never got an answer on that whole what the fuck does it mean by Dutch economy base compared to Utrechtian is bad. You've got it in control C? Nice. Yeah, someone's gonna have to Google that one for me because I simply do not know what that means because it seems to imply that my economy is quite poor compared to theirs and they don't want to tie themselves to me. But my economy is much stronger than theirs. So, um, yay or nay, chat, what do we think about maybe increasing our fleet? Making some light ships, um, trying to get the trade in the Northern Channel, or rather the, um, in the English Channel, try and get more of the trade going our way to increase our income, you know, protect it with some ships. Yeah, it's Smashcast Plus. Um, it's it's. I think it's super new, so it's not in search engines yet. Okay. Um, <sighs> acknowledge it and lose prestige, or deny it and lose legitimacy. I feel like legitimacy is more important than prestige. I'll acknowledge it. I can always get prestige other ways. What happened to Hitbox? Nothing. This is Hitbox. It rebranded as Smashcast. In fact, we went from being a, a uh, hitbox has now gone from being like a staff of 10 people with no budget putting on a better quality stream than Twitch to now we've had a business merger and we are part of a multi-million dollar company. Fuck yeah. Legitimacy is shit. Oh, uh, should I have just lost some legitimacy? If your economy is, even if your economy is stronger... Uh, it needs to be overwhelming for them to respect you. I think I don't actually know. Okay. Legitimacy is easy to get, unlike prestige. Fuck. Okay. I know that for next time. Thank you. Oh, finally, we've finished that fucking papal relation thing. Yeah. Stop with that. 
All right, improve our prestige and create a proper fleet. The, the, my problem with create a par proper fleet is 75% of your force limit. We can have like 30 ships because of our really high force limit. So, yeah. I find it funny people who come in and they don't realize that this is Hitbox with a new name. Because it's like, how could you not know? You came in and you were already logged into your account. How could you? Wouldn't you think, hey, I've never made an account here. Why is it my Hitbox name? Wouldn't, wouldn't you wonder? <laughs> why it's got the Hitbox emoticons and it's got the mostly the Hitbox layout and the, the Hitbox staff is here in the chat and... It's got the same hitbox logos in the chat, and yeah, <laughs> just find it funny. Well, I logged in with my hitbox account, says Miss Guzzies. Yes, yeah, see? <laughs> Wasn't logged in when I clicked the link? Oh, that's weird. But it lets you log in with your hitbox account. Yeah. Um, with more ships, is there diminishing return? Well... I don't believe so because with my ships, like it's not like they're just sitting in the dockyard using up maintenance because they are, they do cost maintenance aside from just the initial price into building them. Uh, but I can tell them to protect our trade interests or even to be a privateer and pirate. So, you know, I'm paying for their ship upkeep, but they could also be making me money out on the waters protecting our trade interest. Economic power depends on development. That's interesting. So maybe I should be spending my diplomatic power here on development. Now, uh, they can suck my dick because their development's way worse than mine, and yet I still have this big negative thing, so I'm guessing it needs to be way higher. So it's economic base is what they seem to be really caring about here. I think economic base is based around diplomatic power. I think. Because that's trade value. Development, yeah. Thanks, Andy. Oh, what what am I being thanked for? Oh, because I answered your question. Okay. Hire privateers against Poland. <laughs> uh, hold on. Where uh Poland's over here? They're landlocked. I wouldn't be able to do anything to them, because they don't have water-based trade. Trade ships do have diminishing returns. Okay, good to know. Thought that Smashcast uh, was a new thing in MDB Ditch Hitbox. Forgot they were rebranding. Yeah, I've been talking about how they've been rebranding for months now. It's just, you know, the, uh, the actual rebranding was abrupt because they didn't say the name before the rebrand hit. They wanted it to all hit at once. Uh, so I'm going to get my diplomat back soon, aren't I? Yeah. Okay, so we just got our diplomat back. What do we want to spend him on? Alright, so we're still building our spy network over there. Could send an insult. Tell them to fuck themselves. What do we get out of insulting them? Don't we get projected power? Because we're flaunting our might? Make your fleet sea dogs, right? Because that makes them privateers. For anyone who doesn't know what a privateer is, a privateer is a government-owned pirate. Or a government-owned, uh, funded pirate, basically. They're just pirates who are pirating under the flag of a country, basically. That's what a privateer is. Have me on, dis on uh, Hitbox or most YouTube or the Discord for a while so you kind of miss it. I'm happy you're back. We missed you. Uh, yeah, I think I kind of want to insult them. And plus, if they declare war on us... Then we're keeping good on that whole Austrian thing of, hey, don't declare war on people. We're not declaring the war. We're defensive. So I think I'm going to insult Munster just because I can. And to show the world, uh, show the rest of Europe that we're badasses. Yeah, essentially legal plans. Well, I mean, legal in the country hiring them, you know. Le legally, it's very dubious even back in these days. But everyone did it. All the big European powers did hire privateers. Because, you know, you got to get a one up on the competition. So that's how they do it is, hey, they're not, they're not our ships attacking you. They're just funded by our country. <laughs> it's really dubious. Uh, 
Uh, your tweet link to Smash cast links to a blank tab. I don't know if that was a glitch for me or not. Uh, could other people check that for me? I don't know. Yeah, you should come back to the Discord sometime. I understand things are awkward because that whole, yeah, you know. Uh, but, uh, I, I, so I understand that things are probably awkward with that whole thing, but, like, the fan base still loves both of you. It's not like there's anything awkward there. I just understand it's probably awkward for the both of you. So, yeah, so just, just know that it's totally cool. Like, the rest of the fan base and me, obviously, like, shit happens. Don't worry about it. Um. Do you wish to insult Monster? You know what? Yeah. This page has the formula for economic power. Thank you. Could someone check that page and just give me, like, the super, like, Cliff Notes version? Basically, just tell me if I want to increase that score with them, what do I do? Twitter link works for you? Okay, good. I'm just making sure. All right. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna insult Munster. Fuck him. There we go. We insulted them. <laughs> uh... Oh, they hate our guts. <laughs> they really hate us. Manage- Oh, I can't manage it for rival. I wanted to uh, just make sure that they're, I'm hostile towards them. Just so they know that we don't like them. The link he sent in his Smash Cast to Yeah. Well, if it worked for one person, it didn't work for the other person. That tells me it's probably on the other person's side that it didn't work. I think we can agree, though, uh, create a proper fleet's probably not a good idea right now, because I'd have to drop so much money in that. You should increase development, says you, Avenir. Okay. I'll increase my diplomatic power, um, development here, I think. What's, what's the next tech for that? Naval maintenance down, trade efficiency up, trade range up. I mean, that's all good, but I think I want to develop Holland. We did it! Uh, so what do they think of us now? Did that do much? That really didn't do anything. Maybe they care about our administrative, um, development. Maybe that's what they consider economy. Well, I could raise that right now. I just, it, it would take all of my points. Do we really care? The money we'd get from it is marginal at best. I don't know. Never played this game before? It's very fun. I'm just getting back into it. I haven't played it in like a good year. Sweden, let's invade Finland. We march. Uh, hold on, how's Finland doing, actually? Oh, right, Finland wouldn't be independent of this time. Whoa, oh my god. Okay, Muscovy's been expanded into Novgorod. Novgorod would have controlled all of what is Finland now. So, Finland is owned uh, entire... Well, no, this would be Russia nowadays, wouldn't it? Yeah, so Finland is owned by Sweden. Yeah, Finland's Swedish right now. There's a whole lot of unhappiness going on in the Nordic countries right now. <clears throat> Life-giving smoothie, nectar of the gods. Alright, we gotta find a use for this dude. France, what do you think of us? Their opinion of us has gone down. It's still good, but it's gone down. I wouldn't mind improving our relations with them. I just never want them turning on us, you know? Uh, could always take another crack at trying to get Poland on our fucking side. God, it's just not happening, is it? How's MDB's war with his rival going? I don't, I'm not at war with anybody right now, but I did take Faceland. And, uh, I did just diplomatically insult Munster. Who are my rival. So I'm basically just showing the world, hey, I can insult them and they won't do anything about it because I'm a badass. So I'm basically just trying to gain projected power through that. Uh, showing off that I'm cool and that uh, I am not to be trifled with. Probably shouldn't send an insult to Poland. That seems like an unwise idea. 
Uh, twirling your mustache like a dictator? I always twirl my mustache. Like a dictator or a really cool guy? Shut up. <laughs> or a really cool dictator? <laughs> you know, all those cool dictators. Proclaim uh, guaranteed to their independence. I don't think I want to do that considering I want to vassal them. Uh, da, 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 da. catching up on the chat a little bit. Game seems a little, uh, seems fun. Also kind of long-winded ad bored me. Uh, da, 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 da. dictator. Yeah, it does sound like a dick-shaped potato dictator. Uh, that's true. Kim Jong-un doesn't have a mustache. Um... Who are the major powers? Still France and Austria? Ottomans are a little far away. Yeah, distance between our borders would be a real issue. Apparently we have too many diplomatic relations as it is. Who are we enemies with? Hungary, Poland, no wait, that's Ottomans. Fucking. Uh, we do not have enemies. Good to know. Munster, what's going on with you? They don't consider us a... <laughs> they don't consider us a fucking rival? Come on. Alright. I don't think you can vassalize the attract. Not right now, I can't. Alright, Austria, I think we need to keep, uh... Doing stuff with you. What are we gonna do? I want an alliance with Austria. But they are just not interested, because we are allied with France. That's the main problem. And our army is pretty pathetic compared to theirs. Oh, and military access. That's a good idea. Who do I have military access to that I don't need? Um... Hold on, what countries? One, two, three, four. What's the fifth country I've got relations with? There's no way the truce counts. Because I'm allowed to have four diplomatic relations right now, right? No, I've got four to four diplomatic relations. Well, what the hell's the problem then, game? Huh. Our military le A military leader left us. No longer serves us. He died in an army camp. Fuck, I paid a lot for that guy. Uh, oh, Renaissance. Oh, yeah, I don't care. Um, this changes everything. Uh, countries that have not fully embraced the Renaissance receive a penalty. Shit. <laughs> okay, so the Renaissance is starting. I don't know how to embrace the Renaissance. But I'd very much like to. Oh, the rival of our rival. We would like to befriend the rival of our rival. Well, it gives something for our diplomat to do. Burnswick. I will accept that. Hey, Burnswick, where are you? Let's just do this. Burnswick. <laughs> I could offer an alliance. Wow. Where are they? They're right here. Um, improve relations. All right, we're improving relations with Burnswick. Get them to like us. We need Mandy to conduct our Ren Fair to celebrate. Yeah, she's at work right now at her new job. She is um, a veterinarian's assistant. She just got a new job. It's awesome. Advancement of the clergy. Uh, clergy is saying, la, 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 la. don't care. What are we doing? Need to get that army force limit up. Our tech's gone up, but our tech is still not great. Hmm. What's going on down there? I see icons on every little thing all of a sudden. Weird. 
I feel like I don't have a clear direction on what to do next. I need this province, this province, and this province. I don't know how the fuck I'm going to get that one from Austria. I'm really not happy about that. Uh... We need more tech, which we're working on. We're doing everything we can towards administrative power. Increase over time. Okay, just making sure there's not an ahead of time detriment. Right now, I think we'll get it in like four years. Can you play as Norway? Yeah, you can play with any country in the world, including like North American tribes and everything. It's really fun. I could spend some military power for more development. It get us closer to the Renaissance, apparently. There. I developed, uh, Holland more. It's not developing administrative power because I need to save that up for tech. You should see about getting France to declare war with you on Austria. God, I don't know how much I want to do that. I mean, if I'm going to war with Austria, I'm definitely bringing France with me. Could I get the Ottoman Empire on my side on that? Probably not, again, because of distance. Distance really is their big problem with me. What can we do to Munster? We could fabricate a claim. Do I really care about fabricating a claim on Munster? I mean, it would be a way of expanding my country. And I can't complain about that. I don't need any of their land. But at the same time, why not? What's their military power compared to mine? Mine's better. Yeah. What's stopping me? Did they have an alliance? They have an alliance. With those dudes. Who are very small. And they've been warned. Now mind you, if I declare war, Austria warned me not to declare wars. Yeah. Fuck the monsters. Yeah, I don't think there's any point. Because Austria's just gonna declare war on me. So I think I really should just not declare a war right now. I can insult them all I want, though. Can I insult them again yet? Send an insult? Uh, I can't insult them for another 10 years. Damn, I wanted to throw an insult at them again. I'm trying to bait them into declaring war on me, honestly. Enter the tech tab and see the institution tab inside. I do not see an instant. Oh, that's a tab. That's hard to see. Uh, institution spread, embrace cost, renaissance, go to. Renaissance is starting out of, oh, starting at birthplace of renaissance is in Italy. Uh, I want to embrace it. For institution to embrace it, it has to have a large enough hold in our country to fully embrace it. It needs to be embraced by at least 10% of our autonomy uh, modified development. It's only embraced by 0% right now. So we're trying to bring the Renaissance to us. Um, how do I do that? Do I just wait for it to spread to me? I think I just have to wait for it to spread to me. Huh. A little bit far away. Hmm. Gotta get that army first limit up. I wonder if development in Holland helps with that at all. I do have kind of low um, development here. Where is buildings? Um, still wouldn't get a ton out of that. Just checking. Oh, wow, we have like no income. Why? Where's our money going? Army maintenance? A lot of it's army maintenance. You think maybe we should, uh, lower our army maintenance? It'll lower morale, but we're not at war. There. I'm cutting down army maintenance. 
We we're allied with France, so I don't think anyone's going to declare war on us out of nowhere. We're going to see it coming. Uh, you now need to look at the requir requirements for it to spread. However, one of your uh, provinces in that mode. Okay. Technology, institution. Okay. Uh, it's not telling me a requirement. Do I click? No. Uh, Renaissance, yeah. It just says Renaissance 10%. So, yeah. Not seeing... Right click? No. If you go over army limit, mains gets dramatically higher. That is true. Maybe I should just delete one unit. You know what? Let's do that. Let's, uh... Create new unit. Select the new unit. And how do I disband you? Disband unit. There. Just disbanded one unit. And there we go. The money just came in, so... Uh, apparently a cardinal is loyal to Holland. Okay. Interesting. Uh, economy. Uh, yeah, that lowered army means a bit, I think. Not above the force limit anymore, which is nice. Oh, no, click the... Uh, there should be an institution tab. Oh, on the province there's an institution tab. Is it also the picture of the book? Oh, there it is. It's gaining a little bit per month. Uh, sorry, this is right in the way. Okay, there's nothing I can do to really speed it up right now. That's a shame. Because uh, it's either my neighbors get more renaissance, which I can't control, or I have fi five European developed provinces. I only have three provinces in general. All right. All right, so I guess we're just uh, keeping on with this. Do we want to buy some boats? You know, secure a trade more. Would that be a good investment right now? English trade power is dominating ours. Our trade power just keeps going down. Rebel uprising. Separatists are 80%. No. Uh, I can boost stability. Reduce uprising by 30% by using some military points. Maybe I should do that. Uh, I really don't want to use administrative points. How can I just put them down? Is there any way to just straight knock him out? Because I don't like these separatists. Anybody have any ideas on this, on what I should do about this? Because clearly this is going to be a problem. Or should I just wait for them to do an uprising and put them down by force? Yeah, the revolt. Your revolt has a 15% chance of increasing the press bar by 10% each month. At this pace, the next revolt will be in about a year. Shit. Should I just let them revolt and fight them? Maybe. Having armies in angry provinces slows their progress. Well, I think I know where I want my army. Thank you for the pro tip. Oh, I'll have my army park right there. Well, that slowed them down by a tenth of a year. <laughs> that didn't do much. 
Maybe you want to increase that maintenance again. Just have him be ready. The decisive way to end a revolt is to defeat and open a revolt in battle. Okay, so I'm going to just let them revolt then. Okay, they're at 90%, so I've got to... I've got to go to my military tab. No? Economy? Yes. And raise the army maintenance back up to full. And have them be ready for this uprising. Send the rebels to another dimension! Sorry. Canadian dub of, uh, Dream Well Said. <laughs> yeah, get your morale back up faster, please. Free advisor slot. I probably should get more advisors soon. It's just I'm concerned about my income. <sighs> Maybe I should get a navy. I miss having a navy. Raise your army spending. Yeah, I maxed it out again. Let their morale get as high as they can. Okay, good. Their morale's maxed out again, so they are ready for combat. Assign a general. Good idea. I forgot our general left. Uh, left. He died, actually. Hold on. Is our leader any good? Our leader's good. He's better than our heir, who's you have there. Um... Yeah, we need a new leader. There, you've got a leader. Two fire, two shock, one maneuver, zero siege. Alright, they've got a general, and they've got full morale, so I think I'll be fine. Hope this uprising happens soon. Nope, what's this? Fuck you! Hey, not my fault that uh, the heir of the throne, Yo Avner, happens to be really shitty. <laughs> Some people were so devout in their religion and trying to set up uh, to help the poor and heal the sick. They're often called saints for their acts, sometimes uh, miracles. Truly really being blessed um, increases stability. Um, or I can get papal influence. Uh, I don't really care about papal influence. I'd rather stability. Ying. Global trade power up, foreign spy detection up, national unrest increased, or better, rather. Uh, national tax modifier is better, more expensive to get more stability. Makes sense. Yearly corruption down, institution spread. Okay, so all around, stability in your government's pretty important. Just small bonuses to a lot of things. Uh, okay. Oh, sweet. Rigorous researchers. We just straight up gain a bunch of power in our research. Awesome. That actually speeds us up by a fuckload. 40? That's a lot. That's four months worth of administrative points. Nice. How close are we to the next, uh, tech? Because I want my national ideas. Need, uh. Protection says about three more years. Unless there's something to speed it up. I descend from the tribes of America. Fuck you, European ways. Hey, rival of a rival done. Got some more prestige. And by prestige, I mean we have one prestige now. Improve your prestige. I'm not going to get that one. I want the 100 administrative power. That's actually really good. It crashed your internet. There's no way a website can crash your internet. This, it, it can't crash your local internet. That's not how that works. Uh, yeah, I don't think I want a mission right now. Because I'm not going to create a proper fleet right now. It's just not happening. It's too expensive. I will gladly create a ship. I have one light ship being made. And people are just fucking, people are just fucking quoting, uh, what's it called? My, my, uh, Smash Mouth. I'll start by Smash Mouth. Let me do a thing. Yeah, I haven't dropped any frames or anything. Website seems to be good. Hey, whoa, whoa, that was abrupt. Hey, game, you want to pause on that? Thank you. Uh, blame Swedish Chrome. Uh... Sites stopped working, then bam, Chrome crashed. Yeah, but that's not your internet crashing, that's Chrome. Separatists have risen up. Oh no! 
Uh, wow, it's actually a lot of people. Holy shit. Are they winning this fight? What the fuck? Why are these separatists so much better than me? I have one dice and they have three. Why? We're getting our asses kicked. Is it because they have more infantry? Shit, why are they doing so much better? Our front line is so much smaller than theirs now. Are we gonna lose this province? Shit, we might lose this province. Oh my god. Leader trait was gained. Battlefield medic. Thank you. Uh, no, we're just controlling one country. Uh, yeah, you can recall the diplomat now. Mercs, get mercs. Okay. You have, you have suffered casualties. Yeah. Do we have the cash for mercs? We do. Building this will exceed our force limit, but they're mercenaries. Take all the money we have left. Okay. All right, we're using all of our cash to hire mercenaries. You can take out loans and build mercs. Okay. How many do we need? I don't know how many we just hired. Was that just one group? Like one infantry brigade? I hope not. Debase currency increases corruption, but gets us money. Take loan. Five year loan of 30 ducats. Ugh. Just take loans, this is important. All right. All right, we took a couple loans. I don't know how many we need to beat them. Oh, this is slow. I really have no idea how many. Uh, they now control the province. Fun. Uh, we're Dutch. We can deal with them. That is true. <laughs> oh. Uh. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. It's a chance. Uh, it's now fertile. Okay. For a second, I thought it was saying that our king died and we have the new shitty heir. Uh, oh my god, you want to finish getting hired? This is brutal. This is brutal. Please. Faster, faster. Oh, we're losing money like crazy. New Pope. Oh, this is brutal. Manpower is almost back up, though. Or rather, manpower has almost reinforced our people. Oh my god. Are they doing something there? What are they doing? Reverted to control of Holland from the fort in Holland. What? Oh, it's, it's being reverted back to Dutch? Okay. Is it con- is it reconquering itself back to me right now? Is that what's happening? I win! <laughs> what just happened? Uh, it, it's, uh, it's 1455, top right corner is where- what year it is. Just build more mercs? But why? 
Oh, their army is down here now. I just got Friesland back and I don't know how. <laughs> Did the people come out of my fort in Friesland and take it back or what? Alright, they're attacking here. This is where the mercs are showing up. We're winning this fight now, probably because they're attacking over a giant river. Well, you hold the fort, they can't hold provinces. Build mercs. But we're winning. Why, why would we build more mercs? We just kick their ass. Where did they go? Did they run off or did that seriously kill them? It doesn't say there are any rebels left. Did we just kill them? I'm really confused. I didn't get like a pop-up or anything. I don't see their troops. Are they dead? Should I be paying off my loans right now? Yes. I don't know what that yes was in response to. It's probably something from like a minute ago. So we're good? I'm gonna not get these mercenaries. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and just say, uh, cancel. Uh, I canceled a boat. Fuck. Whatever. Okay, we killed them really easily. That was really, really easy. I don't think we needed to take out those loans. I'm gonna pay those off. God, we needed to pay 10 interest on that. Fuck. Okay, we paid off our loans. God damn it. Delete the mercs and repay the loans, yep. So how do I know which ones are mercs? Do they have like a separate tab in here? Or is this army just my people? I don't think I have any mercenaries anymore. We have a free diplomat, we should use that. We can support rebels in Munster. I mean, that's really tempting. Steel maps justify trade conflict. So dissent. Oh, we don't have that kind of technology though. Oh, these are all like advanced tech things. I'm just gonna support rebels. Fuck them. Oh, uh, we need money to do that? Fuck that, I'm not spending money on that. I don't care about Munster that much. Uh, the mercs are green. I don't have mercs then. I don't see any mercs. Yeah, I don't see any. Uh, I'm 99% sure we do not have any then, because this is just my straight up regular army. All right, so there's no one rest here. They have a lot of autonomy. Can I lower that? It, it raises unrest. Should I be lowering their autonomy? Because it's the whole reason they're not giving us much money is because they're really autonomous. Should a bit late, what game are we talking about? Similar to Crusader Kings 2? It's somewhat similar, same company. All right, I'm gonna park my army back in Friesland again, just in case. All right, that seemed like, I mean, it could have gone worse. When you're looking at your army, your regular armies are blue and the mercs are green. Oh, I gotcha, so the uniform would be green. Okay, so we do have entirely regular army then. That's good. All right, um... What do we want to do with our other diplomat right now? I'm not really sure. Uh, you know what? I'm hungry. We're three hours in. I think this is a good stopping point for now. Thank you for watching the first stream over on Smashcast. Again, it's just Hitbox we've rebranded. Um, I want to make that as clear as possible because a lot of people are probably really confused today. I know Savvy and Dubs are running around putting out fires right now of everybody panicking where they, you know, they click on the link to go to Hitbox and it takes them to Smashcast. They're like, what happened? Um, it's this, it's the same. We've just rebranded. Uh, we were acquired and the website has way better funding now than it used to. That's basically it. Yeah. Lower, um, lower army spending to repay the loans. We already repaid our loans, but, um, I wouldn't mind getting a little bit more money. So I might want to lower my military spending a little bit. That's a good idea. Let's lower it just a bit. That's good. All right, uh, I am, look at the meme you made on Discord. Okay, I'll look at that right after. Um, 
I streams done. This is going on YouTube. If you're watching on YouTube, then check out the Smashcast link in the description. And any of those old hitbox links you might have had just from around on the internet, links and stuff, um, those all still work, just so you know. Like, if you click on old hitbox Madrai bread links, they'll take you to my new page. That's, thankfully, they were able to secure that. And uh, every link that would go to Hitbox will now take you to what the page would be on Smashcast. So you don't need to worry about old links breaking. So uh, that's it for today. Support me on TAD if you'd like to. Free on your phone or in your browser. Link in the description. If you want to help get me paid, hopefully on the next stream, the stream alerts will be on screen again. It's just the website that does that is separate from Smashcast. And they haven't updated yet because um, time zones suck. So... Thank you everybody for watching, until next time, have a nice day.